Looking at a good entry signal into the micro or e-mini stock index portfolio of 40, you can trade this with the e-minis or the micros. It's 40 trading systems, 20 on the e-mini S&P, 20 on the e-mini NASDAQ. We just put this together. It is including the tw 19 of the 20 strategies in our stock index 27 portfolio. And it includes the 20 strategies from the micro NQ portfolio. We've added one additional strategy um, on the E-minis, 20 and 20. And it is in a $38,000 drawdown or $3,800 per micro. How does that look on the drawdown curve? Going back 10 years, the worst case drawdown is only about 50K, is around 50K per E-mini or 5k per micro keep in mind we're trading 40 strategies here so the drawdown based on you see it's 50,085 on June 22nd 2016 from mid 2016 that would be July of 2016 the worst case drawdown is about 40k and we're right about 38k so you can see this drawdown since January the 25th this last made an equity peak on January the 24th and it's been in going through a drawdown since January the 25th. So it could be a turning point. It may not be. It may make worst case drawdowns. It's possible. Anything is possible in trading, but we continue to sync up with this market. The reason I like this setup is our stock, number one is our stock index has been strong since the pandemic. It is, um, 2020 did well. When we back test these set of strategies, up 55K per micro or 550K per E-mini, hypothetically speaking. 445k per e-mini, 44.5k per micro, and up in January, 38.7k uh, in January, or 3.8k per micro, down so far in February. So that is where we are in the drawdown curve. You see, made its equity peak. The drawdown is zero on January the 25th, or January the 24th, the drawdown is zero. So we've started the drawdown on January the 25th and we are in a 38k out of about 50k worst case drawdown since uh, the last 10 years the last 10 years mid 2016 the worst case drawdown is about 40k so we're at new volatility levels but volatility is decreasing and we are up on the day we've had a quite the losing streak um, this strategy since last week was down five out of the last six days if you count last week and yesterday, it was down one, two, three, four, five days, down five days, up one. So a low winning percentage can be a discouraging time period. But if you look at the drawdown cycle, you can see the potential opportunity, the potential bounce back. We were trading commodities and we've eliminated those. And now we've rotated into our strength, which is the stock indexes. And this is where we are. So you see the opportunity. It's a way to measure risk versus reward, and that is what I wanted to share with you today on this video is what we're trading and where we are in the drawdown cycle and potential reward. Um, good time to start trading this in my opinion, and that doesn't mean that you're guaranteed profit. That does give you a reduced risk to worst case drawdown. It's a calculated risk whenever you trade futures and whenever you trade algos, and so the opportunity is always better to start or add to positions in a drawdown, and that is where we are right now. Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks. We share our losing streaks, as well as market updates, strategies, and coding tips.